Adobe Premiere CC editing settings. Now these are a weird mythical magical thing that many people just continue to ask about why is the file size too big why is the file size too small why am I editing a bit weirdly so I'm going to show you today my own settings that I use to render my videos in HD via Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I highly advise that if you're watching on PC that you put it in full screen mode but I'll also try and zoom in and out so you can see the settings as well. So this is a screen that many of you may be used to when using Adobe Premiere Pro. I have a subscription license so the way it works is I pay Adobe Premiere £20-£30 per month and it updates my software so this is the latest version CC 2018. Now I have a project down here at the bottom and it's all ready to go and you'll see my little face behind my subscribe button. Now many of you know the next step but you don't know what settings are preferable. So go to file down to export and then media. If you are rendering to HD, so anything that's around about 720 or 1080p, I suggest that you use the H.264 format. There are many other options there. You can see AVI, you can see JPEG, you can see Blu-ray, and you can see QuickTime and stuff like that, MPEG4. But I suggest the H.264. Now under custom, you can choose the options for like a YouTube 1080p. There's nothing wrong with that, you can see Vimeo there as well. There's nothing wrong with that, but I do a few tweaks. Now first of all you need to make sure that the sequence and your output pretty much match. So the source here is pretty much 24 frames per second and the output will be 24 frames per second, rounding up that is. And then if I close the summary I can show you my actual settings. Now down here you'll see the basic settings the size, so width 1920, 1080, which matches the source. Frame rate is locked. Film order progressive, and then aspect square pixel. And if you want quality, the best quality, you click render at maximum depth. The reason I don't choose that is it renders faster without it, but if you've got a high powered machine, then rendering at high quality, it's, it, it's fine. It just adds a couple of minutes. Profile high, level 4.2, and now here's the bits that are interesting. I use a variable bitrate at one pass, the target bitrate is 8, and the maximum bitrate is 16. Why do I do that? Well it makes the file size smaller, and when you upload to YouTube it invariably scales down anyway, so if you match the rate in which it's going to downscale to on YouTube then it takes a little less time to process and a little less time to upload and more importantly less time to render. And then of course you scroll down and you've got the options for keyframe distance and VR video. For audio it's basic codecs which is AAC, sample rate 48,000, it's in stereo, quality high, bitrate 320 which is around about the, the rate that you expect from a CD. Now down at the bottom once again you'll see maximum render quality and all your other settings. I suggest use maximum render quality, right? if you want a quality video. So once again, in the video, it used render to maximum depth, and here, render to maximum quality, and then simply export, and away you go. So those are my settings on how I render my videos on Adobe Premiere Pro CC, and I'm sure that those settings can be applied to any older versions of Adobe Premiere Pro as well. For more tricks and tips and tutorials like this, remember to hit that subscribe button for regular YouTube tricks and tips videos, hit that notification icon and hit that bell always symbol so therefore you never miss these videos or when I go live. Go out there, start creating.